Yo, fellas, if y'all want to see me wife a girl that looks like this, 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 or even this, tap in with my Instagram, man. My goal is 10K followers. If y'all active, I will follow back. Come on, y'all. I know we could do it, but hey, here go the vid. I know it's been a little minute, but we back, y'all. My sophomore season in the NBA. And for those of y'all who don't know me, I go by Lonnie Wade, the exciting young PG for the San Antonio Spurs. Now, last year, we didn't make the playoffs. But my goal this entire season is to take this team to that next level. It's a lot of banners up in those rafters. So this organization has had championships before. But when it's all said and done, I want to be one of those guys who helped bring another one here. And I wouldn't want to do it with any other organization. As long as they want me, I'm going to give it my all. And for those of y'all who are new here, and for some of y'all who are returning, I suggest you buckle up because this season is definitely going to be epic and I'm ready for it. First game of the season. Man, I've been working hard all summer waiting on this moment. I kept thinking about us not making the playoffs and this year my only goal was to get us there and straight out the gate. Your boy was playing no games. Hey! I'm telling y'all, I'm on a whole different type of timing. We can worry about championships and all that later, but first, we need a spot in the playoffs to begin with. And I'm glad we had a tough matchup like this for the first game of the year. Hey, the Mavs, they roster was loaded. So in order for us to see where we at, why not go against one of the best teams in the league right off the bat? And man, coming into this one, I wasn't worried about nothing but trying to give whoever was in front of me buckets. And that just so happened to be Kyrie on some possessions. But on other possessions, Luka might switch up on me. And speaking of Luka, man, I don't even gotta tell y'all how tough Buddy was. I mean, last year when we played him in the beginning of the season, he was giving me straight buckets. And I know I got better on the defensive end, but hey, Luka was still Luka. He was hitting some tough shots, but this go around, I'm a lot better than I was my rookie season as I hit the spin move and got the tough lay right over Luka. All the OGs that's watching this probably know me as a shooter, but hey man, I've been trying to work on my finishing ability with the light skins and on the basketball court. I want to be known as someone who got the complete offensive package, but speaking of complete offensive package. I don't think I talked too much about Kyrie in this game yet. Man, that dude is just gifted. One of the most skilled players the league has ever seen. I mean, on some of his shots, you just gotta throw your hands up and try to get one back on the other hand. And with him and Luka in sync, hey, they dangerous. I'm telling you, it was step backs here, step backs there. Man, they had me looking lost. It's kind of like the first time I seen these women courtside at the NBA games. Man, I was completely befuddled. I'm talking about shell shocked. But the way I was playing defense in the summer runs, I thought I was gonna come back in the league and possibly be a defensive player of the year. But the way they was cooking me on these moves, hey, I had a lot more work to do. It's crazy how you can see the difference in the NBA game from just off season play. It's a big gap, I'm trying to tell you. But in this game, by the time the second quarter hit, the Mavs was up by like 12. But me, I just kept attacking. And y'all know that. Y'all ain't new here. 
but it's like on the other end like every couple plays something crazy would just happen for their team and we was the away team so they had all the home court advantage and all the momentum but one thing they didn't have on their team that we got it's a professional sniper Boom. I already know Sniper Gang Lonnie is back in full effect. Only this season, I'm looking to be way more efficient with it. Boom. Hey man, I was looking at my stats from my rookie year. I'm a good shooter, but I can definitely get better. Some people say I can shoot as good as Steph or Clay, but I ain't on that level yet, bro. It's only my second year in the league. Some of y'all gotta chill. Just like a slushy, but I do appreciate all the people having high expectations for me. <laughs> I mean, y'all see who my cousin is. I gotta live up to at least some type of hype to keep the family tradition going. And that's exactly what I plan to do. But as the game went on, man, I continued to heat up. It's like them two threes kind of woke me up. I started to hit a lot of difficult shots, making the right plays, and we was trying to make a little comeback, but we just couldn't get no stops on the defensive end. So basically, we was going tit for tat. But all in all, I was having a good day shooting wise. At least I thought so. And I got a little bit more crafty with my handle. I'm telling y'all, I was doing some moves I haven't done since I was in high school. And since I was at Ignite, to be honest. It's all about reps though. The more I worked on it in the off season, the more comfortable I got with it. As a point guard, I had to be able to break down my defender and either get to the rack, a wide open shot, or just make the right play. But man, this game took a wild turn when I seen that boy Kyrie Irving go down. It looked like he had landed hella weird after he took a jump shot. And man, nobody even noticed at first, but when we seen it was five on four, I knew something was up. Looking at it in the replay, I could tell that boy was in pain, man. You never want to see somebody go down in the first game of the season. You really don't want to see nobody get hurt at all. So I was just giving my prayers to Kyrie and hoping he could make a speedy recovery and hoping it wasn't too serious. Luckily, he was able to walk off the court on his own power. That's always a good thing to see. But hey man, as soon as we got Kyrie safely to the bench and with the trainers, it was time to kill these boys. And like a girl who got a shopping addiction, I was getting straight to the rack. Get it? Rack, basket, rack. Come on, bro. With just a few minutes left to go in the fourth quarter, it was a two-point game, and then I got the and one bucket. That boy Luca was heated. I had to tell him to get in the weight room. And with a little time left, I went for the game-winning shot and I sadly came up short. And then we was gonna end up taking the L in the first game of the season. I had a good performance, but I was definitely beating myself up about that last shot. I gotta be able to finish. I was just talking about that earlier. So our next game will be our home opener against the Houston Sockets. I really had to develop having a short memory. And basically by that, I mean, forgetting what happened the last game, if it was a bad one or we lost, and just keep moving forward. So that's exactly what I did this game. We played the Rockets in the beginning of the season last year too. So I kinda know how this team play. And Fred Van Vliet need to be quicker on his feet. I got to the rack extremely easy on the first play of the game. I'm talking about smooth as butter. That boy ain't even see it coming. But anyway, it is one player on this team I ain't mentioned yet. And that's Victor Wembanyamaka. That boy was definitely hooping. I mean, he had a solid season last year, but sadly I ended up winning the rookie of the year over him. But if I didn't win it, he definitely could have. I mean, bro, like seven foot 12, and he be shooting threes like me. That's a crazy build, I'm not gonna lie to you. Now, the beginning of the game, it went exactly as we expected. I mean, the Rockets may not be an elite team, but technically we not either. So we knew it was gonna be close coming into it. And as soon as I was talking about Fred Van Vliet, 
hey bruh started hitting some clutch shots so maybe i spoke too soon but he really messed up when he hit a little celebration and aimed it my way during a timeout right after that just like michael jordan in that last dance i took that very personal and I made it my mission to go at bruh every time I got the ball. I even had a one crazy play. I threw the layup over him and they center Steven Adams. Hey, talk about a difficult shot. I'm going to be real with y'all. I just threw it up. I don't know how I made it. If I would have tried that last year in my rookie season, I definitely would have got it sent to the nosebleeds. I'm sure of it. Hey! That just goes to show you how that offseason work go, man. And on this play right here, threw it up to Wimby. Hey! Had a nice little lob under our belt. We got to get this duo going if we're going to be a force in this league. I mean, two young guys, really a whole young core on the entire team. We got to start getting that chemistry. Because if we can, we could be one of the best duos ever, I'm trying to tell you. Right here, I ended up getting the tough Euro finish through like the whole defense. I was moving through traffic like a taxi cab. Man, I had Fred Van Vliet shifting one way, then shifting another. I was really with the shifts, I'm trying to tell you. Y'all yeah, must've thought I was playing when I said, I'ma go at him every single play now. <laughs> but that's what he get for taunting though. And you best believe right after I made that bucket, I had to let him know about it. I was flexing all the way from the basket to the bench. Even celebrated again during the timeout. I gotta bring the energy, man. This year, it just feel different. I'ma be the one to help lead this team back to the playoffs. And we got a coach like Greg Pop. It's over with. Boom. And you already know your boy had the trays like we was in the cafeteria. Come on, man. But getting the board, Pushing it in transition, I was really way too fast for these boys. I was out here speeding past Fred Van Vliet. I was surprised they didn't switch the matchup. I was getting to the cup so easy. Man, I was having a better game than I did against the Mavericks. Granted, it is kind of weaker competition, but still, bro. If I drop 40 against the best team or the worst team, I mean, I'm still dropping 40. But on this play, Tragedy definitely set in. I tried to bail out of a layup and make a pass, and I just came down awkward on my leg, man. I went straight to the ground, bro. Felt something pop. I was immediately thinking the worst. I had never been injured in my career, and this was the first time. I ain't know what to think, bro. I knew one thing, though. My time for the day was up now we did end up getting the dub over the rockets so that's the good news but the bad news is i ain't know what type of injury it was i was ready to hurry up and get to the training staff and see what they had to say i was just praying it wasn't serious man ah like they say in the movies the show must go on. You best believe I was right back out there next game. But don't get it twisted though. Your boy was definitely injured. It wasn't nothing serious and something did pop in my knee, but it really just felt sore. So I wasn't as explosive as usual. And the trainers really said I was good to go if I wanted. And man, I wasn't finna let my season get cut short that fast. Hey! And somehow I was still able to hit spin moves, put Fred Van Vliet in the blender, and dunk. I mean, I'm not gonna question it, bro. As long as I got a leg by the time I'm out of the league, I'm cool, but it did feel a little funny at times. But they told me as long as I'm careful and don't do nothing too wild, I should be good. That's all I needed to hear. Unfortunately for the Rockets, they probably thought I wasn't gonna play today, but I'm here front and center to give these boys buckets again. It was kind of odd we was having a back-to-back. -back. I mean, I expected to play a different team, but I was cool with beating them again. 
in the whole game, bro, I was feeling it. I'm telling you. At first, it was just sore, but that mug really turned into really sore and then really, really sore. Luckily, my teammates were stepping up and hitting shots because I'm telling you, on every play, I was favoring that knee. But if I was going to get injured, I'd much rather it happen early in the season rather than late in the season. Boom. And luckily, that didn't affect my shooting ability, so we was good. Now the Rockets, they kept this game competitive as well. There was this one move Fred Van Vliet hit. I thought that boy was driving, and then he hit a mean step back. Created so much separation, you would have think he blocked me or something. But man, I had to learn how to guard these step backs. I'm telling you. I got hit with about 10 of them, and it was only the third game of the season. I got to be better, though. But they got to be better at stopping me from getting to the lane. I was a threat from outside, so they really had to watch both. I just had to work on my mid-range game. Sometimes I would have a wide open midi, and I would still drive to the cup. And that actually did cross my mind during this game. So what did I do? Went straight to the mid-range and gave Fred Van Vliet a mick bucket. I'm telling you, I put that boy straight in the blender, the crock pot, stir fried him, deep fried him, whatever you want to call it. That's exactly what happened. I had enough of getting hit with them step backs. It was time I hit somebody with one of my own. And that one? was definitely deadly. If I can keep finding ways to create off the dribble like that, woo, the league is gonna be in trouble, man. We still have work to do though. That little shot ain't mean nothing. And the Rockets kept it close all game, bro. They was like that annoying X. They just never go away. You know that one ex you got that always hit you up every few months and be like, how you doing? But you don't really care about how she doing at all. She just trying to get back in. Exactly what I'm talking about. Boom. But anyway, I don't want to distract y'all from the fact that I just hit a snatch back that sent dude to the free throw line. And then I drained the tray ball right after. I mean, if that ain't elite, I don't know what elite is. Matter of fact, I do know what elite is. It's this move right here. Boom. You know what's also elite? Y'all ever seen a Lunar Live IG reel? Hey, you heard it here first. Just tell her I'll put you on. But man, that last shot ended up being the dagger in this game. And after missing the one against the Mavericks two games ago, I was happy to have that mug under my belt. Hey man, when it's crunch time and we need one play, one bucket, I wanna be the one who can do that. I know we got guys talented like Wimby who can do it, but hey, I wanna turn this into my team and become one of the best leaders in the league. If we gonna make it to the playoffs, we gotta be able to keep stacking wins on top of wins. I got some other juggernauts I gotta go against, so I'm glad we starting off the season with a good start. Two and one ain't bad, but hey, we got some work to do and we gonna keep on moving forward. <laughs>